by James Alexander Malcolm Mackenzie Fraser. Take thee, Claire Elizabeth Beecham, to be my wedded wife. The wedding was always going to be one of the key moments in the show. We did approach it slightly differently. In the book, you're in the room with Claire and Jamie for a very long time, which isn't a bad thing, but dramatically you might want to break it up a little bit. We came up with this construct that the episode would start with them already married, but it allowed me to keep cutting back into the, the wedding night. The relationship between the two of them off screen, you see them, they're just very affectionate with each other, very caring with each other. So that's lovely and kind of infuses the relationship between Jamie and Claire. Jamie makes a blood oath with Claire, which is um, it's an old tradition. It's a, a superstitious oath, and uh, it certainly bonds them and makes them closer. Jamie uses a lot of the, the Islanders to get things for the wedding. He sends off Rupert Angus to get the G made into a ring. Make it from this. And Ned goes off to get Claire's dress, and he goes to a whorehouse. I, I believe he was quite successful, though who knows actually what happened in there. We should run off straight away. We dedicated several days for them to go and rehearse all the scenes in the, in the wedding night. Because it was going to be so intense, we spent a week basically uh, in a room, myself and Kat, with very little clothes on. Um, it's been interesting. I feel like I can't look half the crew in the face anymore. Take off your shirt. I want to look at you. The thing that took the most time, obviously, was the wedding dress. As much as I'm a big believer in costumes kind of going away and blending in, there are also moments in a story where it's all about a dress. When Katrina puts this on and the lights hit her, it is a fairy tale. We designed basically the whole scene to sort of highlight this dress in this moment. We just wanted to do something we hadn't seen before, and the kind of embroidery we ended up using hasn't been actually done in over a hundred years. Katrina's wearing 15 or 20 meters of fabric. That's a tremendous weight. We had to build a special bench for her to sit on on set. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. But we actually ended up building what we call the Pope Mobile. We've retrofitted a golf buggy to carry me because I can't, I can't travel very far very well. Yeah, it's been really fun. She never wants to see that dress again. <laughs> I always thought there was something really fascinating about the fact that they don't really fall in love until they're married. In the kitchen of the I like the fact that it was a very slow burn. 